All right, so we have a little bit of story time for you. Are you ready for this? Let me start. But before we get into story time, I'm at the new place. I'm gonna do my little morning routine and get ready to drop the kids off. I wanted to talk about my fave. Care of. I just got a new pack, you guys. Care of is actually a subscription based supplement brand. They send you supplements every 30 days based on your needs. You can go on the website and take a quiz. It's super easy. I just woke up, so I know I'm like a little tired. But that's okay because once I take my vitamins, I actually can pick out exactly what I want in my vitamin pack. So this one I got. I don't know if I'm pronouncing this right. Rhodiola, which is for stress and mood, vitamin C for immune health. And then I got this one that I really can't pronounce, Astaxanthin, Astaxanthin, hmm. For skin and eye health and Shadavari for hormonal balance. You know me, as I'm getting older, I need my hormones balance. It's gonna be all over the place, honey. All over the place. Like, like I said, if you can go on the website, you can get 50% off your first order using code JOY50 right now. Mm -hmm. All you gotta do is take the quiz um, based on your wants and needs. I like that. It's super easy. I don't have to think about, oh my God, I need to go buy vitamins. I need to dump them all in my hand and figure out how I'm gonna take them on the go. I'm always in a rush because I gotta make lunches, get kids ready, get myself ready. So I like that. It's super easy and convenient. You can just take one out just like this and just take it with you on the go. Super easy, super convenient. I moved and I was like, I ran out of vitamins and here they were in my mailbox. So again, if you wanna try it out, 50% off your first order, it's super easy. I love that each little packet is customized with your name on it. It'll tell you like today's challenge or a super cute quote. It's been working for me. As you can see, I've been using it for months and I live by it, so. Okay, so story time. We're moving out of this house into a new spot. Um, moving forward, I will not be filming where I live, my surroundings, my backyard, my bathroom, closet, nothing, because somebody broke into my house while I wasn't home at 3.41 to be exact p.m., so that's in the daytime. I live in a pretty quiet neighborhood. There's like older people that are my neighbors that have been living here for 40, 50 years. So I couldn't even imagine how this could have happened to me. Well, I can imagine how it happened to me, but I don't get how it happened in the middle of the day. Especially because we live in like a really, really quiet and safe neighborhood. Quiet, safe neighborhood, way up the hill. Like it You takes, can never find it like you. It takes 10 minutes, minutes to even get over so here. Lost. I'm just kidding, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, I said it. I said the first time we came up here, we got lost. Like, I yeah, so it takes out. literally 10 minutes to get from the phone call. Uh, 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 uh. So I think it takes like 10 minutes to even get to my house from the street. I live off Ventura. I can tell you now because I'm moving out of here as I speak. I live off of Ventura. If you don't know where Ventura is, it's in the valley. It just runs all the way through the valley from like freaking Hollywood, all the way to Studio City, all the way up to like Calabasas. It goes pretty far. So from Ventura, it takes 10 minutes to even like get up to where I live. So I would have thought this would never happen to me. Sorry, I know I've been just like talking, talking, talking. I needed like a few weeks just to like really just reflect on my life and like humble myself and just realize that we weren't harmed, my kids weren't harmed, we weren't home. Yeah. You know, it's just stuff, it's material stuff. Um, At least our lives were in danger. Yeah, um, our lives weren't in danger. Well, I mean, they were the I mean, yeah. my door open. Yeah. Hold on, let me just show you. Look at this picture right here. Yeah, that's my door. Back door, busted in. Then, I'm gonna add another photo. That was where they broke in, the laundry door. Look at my closet. Yeah, so, they broke in the door, the back door, through the glass. Mind you, the day before this, I think there was like another actress, her house got broken into, same way. Broken through the back door, through the glass, stole like, I think up to like 300,000 in cash from her and whatever other jewelry she had in her bedroom, closet, 
they came in my house and they took all, all my fur pants. I literally was like, I worked so hard. I was so, yeah, like I worked so hard for everything that I have, especially those things. I felt like, yes, they are just material things, but like I worked my ass off and I felt like these are not just bags, like they're investments. They're investments for me, they're investments for her. When she gets older, she'll have these vintage Birkins, like nobody else bought them for me. Like I bought them for myself. So I just felt like robbed and raped and I felt like, wow. I didn't even know what to say, I was speechless. I think I stayed off the internet for like over a week. No, it was literally like a week, but then I was like, I have to snap out of it. I have work to do, I have stuff to post, I have ads to do, like, I just had to snap out of it and I did. And I feel fine now, but I was crying for days. I think I cried the most when I realized that they took my crop work in, which is worth like $100,000. And I bought it from the Hermes store in Paris. And I was so excited about it. I think the biggest thing for me too was like, Shy was really emotional because whoever did this cut themselves through the glass. Blood all over the house. So yeah, blood all throughout my house. Blood droppings in the hallway, blood droppings by here, by the closet. Must have cut themselves here because they left blood on my pillow. Look at my pillow. How am I supposed to sleep on that? That's an expensive pillow. Wow, so now I gotta go buy another one because you didn't cut yourself being all clumsy coming in here. You shouldn't be around people. Cut yourself, took my pillowcase off. I guess wrapped it or whatever you had to because I don't have it. Wrapped it wherever you cut yourself and then left my bloody pillow here and blood dropping throughout my closet and just made my closet a mess and stole from me, so yeah. And then I seen after that that somebody else had got robbed and somebody else had got robbed and I'm like, oh, these people are just like trying to hit people left and right. So we gotta get TF, TF. Because it's given ghetto in LA, sorry. I don't even want to use that term, but what is wrong with Ella, we gotta do better. We have to do better. But yeah, that's what I've been up to. And it just really, really put a dent in like my schedule and what I've been needing to do. And I've been trying to keep my head high because they did not get into my other closet. They got into one closet, shattered the door, door broken off. They didn't get into the other one, although they tried. I had one other Birkin in there and all my specialty little bags that are expensive. So they didn't get to that and I had like a few watches in there. They didn't get to that. I mostly don't keep my jewelry in the house. I keep it like in safe deposit, you know, put away. Um, but I did have some stuff here and they weren't able to get to my, any of my jewelry. So I'm super grateful for that. And I still have a bunch of bags and they still can be rebought. So it's okay, you know, it's life. Life happens and you just have to know how to deal with it shy watching me deal with it and I told her the best way that I deal with stuff like that is I literally just have to escape from everything and everyone and really just be by myself and I stayed in my room and I stayed in my bed for days literally because I was just crying I couldn't believe that that happened to me but never say I can't that would never happen to me or her. you know what I mean because it can so yeah really scary and it's really scary having to find a place this quick to move because we obviously didn't feel comfortable sleeping in here anymore. But we did find a really, really beautiful place. Yeah, so we're happy. It all worked out. Um, my landlord here is so amazing. He was so understanding. He felt so bad. He was able to just let me out early and not charge me no penalty and give me my deposit back because I took such good care of the place. So I am just super, super grateful for that. And moving forward, life goes on. We just got to roll with the punches, so that's where I'm at with it. And you know, this is just gonna make me stronger and more humble and just, I feel like I'm already humble. I'm never like flashy. I get dressed, yeah, and like go out and whatever, but I'm not flashy like, ooh, look at me, I got this, I got that. Yeah. I'm not even that type of person, so I don't know. I feel like it was a wake up call for me maybe to just stop focusing on stuff and stop. Like every little thing that comes out, I don't need to buy. I don't, it's just stuff, literally. Uh, that is the lesson in that. And I'm so grateful I have amazing friends and family and the people around me that were just checking up on me, pulling up on me. I had security outside my house for a week because I was like, I can't find a place to stay. I'm tired of paying for a hotel. Like, so yeah, from this moment forward, it's just nobody can know where I live. Nobody knows where I live now. 
It's literally like six people know where I live. My friends don't even know where I live. And they were like this. Cause it's just, I don't know. I'm just weird like that with my kids. I just like, I don't want people to know where I live. I don't know. And into the new spot. I might record in there, but it, you will not know where it is. Cause whatever angle I get, I'm gonna walk behind me. And yeah, like this. <laughs> So, hey guys! Literally! <laughs> literally, oh, hi! Wow! Oh, okay. So, you don't want the tank top on the shirt? Hey, what are you watching? Here, put your shirt on. Look, look, say hi, YouTube! Hi, YouTube. Alright, guys. Well, showed you the photos, showed you the this. I was like, and I was like in between, like, I don't know if I want to share that. I don't know if I want to like, no. I was like, I don't know if I should talk about it. I don't know if I should, I don't know. Da, 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 da. I've been going back and forth, but I'm like, I'm gonna wait to talk about it until I move. I mean, yeah, I'll wait until I move to talk about it. So now that I move, talk about it. That's that. Can we do that TikTok? <laughs> I was supposed to be vlogging my entire birthday. My last vlog left off. Right. Right, what's up y'all? My birthday is in two days. <laughs> I have so much to do. Finishing this workout program. Camera up a little bit. Doing my dance routine for my birthday. I feel like I haven't danced so long. So I am going to do a dance video post it on my birthday because it's been so long since so I feel like six months eight months I've been so busy I've been hosting and with my kids you guys know I'm always just on the go so really still on the go but I'm trying to really do a better job with like keeping my fam in the loop you know so we're finishing up some workouts right now I've been dancing in between like workouts and just getting ready to continue setting up and what am I talking about? Anyways, I'm delirious because I'm tired already. I just got here. But anyways, we're really about to start. As you can see, I'm sweating because yeah, I'm trying to practice this dance routine. But you wanna know what's so crazy? I haven't talked to you guys. I haven't even told you. So the glass bottle, huge tequila bottle, fell on my toe. And I was already kind of like numb a little bit to it because I had had a few drinks even with the drinks, I was like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I was like, I think my toe is broken. And I had these boots on, if you follow me on the gram. I have these like blue boots on, these Saint Laurent boots on. Classic boots, I love those boots. But it's like, now nah, I don't wanna wear them anymore because that happened. Anyways, the bottle fell on my damn toe. Everybody's like, you'll be good, you'll be good, you'll be good, you'll be good. You'll be good. Like, come on, you'll be all right, you'll be cool, you'll be good. So I'm like, okay, get out, go in the club. <sighs> My toe is on throb. I don't even remember the rest of the night after that. Like that's how much my toe was hurting. That's all I could think about was my toe. Everywhere I went, I was just like limping, 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 just thugging it out. The next morning, my entire pinky toe is purple. Underneath, around, my, the top of my foot, completely purple. Can you believe that this happened to me? And I'm filming a workout program in the middle of doing that. That's supposed to drop like, <laughs> the promo is supposed to drop this week. I'm in the middle of rehearsing this dance. I'm dancing to Beyonce, Heated. I love that song. I love that song. I love the ending. It's just like so fierce and confident and just like so good. Like she's really popping her on there. So I really liked it and I felt like I really just wanted to express myself through dance on that song. So that's what I'm doing. So anyways, yeah, so I'm like, how's this happening in the middle of all of that? <gasps> Cause I'm limping around now. I'm like, I don't even know, I can't run. I can't like, I can't wear heels. So I'm really thugging it y'all. Toe is still hurting, throbbing, but I'm still working out and I'm still dancing. I'm dancing in sneakers. I'm supposed to dance in heels and that's tomorrow. So we'll see how that goes. Oh, and I didn't mention, I have a photo shoot today. I'm supposed to finish up here at one. I'm gonna go home with my kiddos for a few hours and then my photo shoot is at five. Shooting from five to 8.30 for my birthday pics and for these promo pics. So I have a busy week and I'm gonna take y'all along the ride. I feel like you guys always say you want my vlogs to be longer. So I'm gonna start making them longer. Gerald, what are you doing? Oh, 
make it like a real life story life show. Kind of annoyed because Shy left my door unlocked at home. Come on, who's gonna come in there in our neighborhood? Girl, are you crazy? I heard the babysitter left. It's like, y'all didn't tell me y'all was leaving. I could have just left the key. There's a lot going on. There's a lot going on, baby. We 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 we. If I fall out of that chair, I'm sitting. Pressing charges. I'm gonna show you guys that dance, that dance, and then dance, then dance. I'm gonna tear it up. Ooh, I'm gonna tear it up. I have to, cause she's talking too much, too much. You guys wanna hear it? Let me play just a little. Ice and wine, you ready to go, big dog? I'm good, you ready to go? I'm good is not like, yes or no. It's like, I'm good. You gonna deal with it? I didn't ask you how you work. I said, how you, <laughs> you ready to go? <laughs> it's different, how are you? Are you ready to go, yes or no? All right, y'all, I've been talking. I'm running my mouth, I gotta go and start, by. And then I started recording. Let's, let's rewind it back and I'm gonna show you the footage that I got at my birthday. Still I live. Uh, I've been sending prayers since my cousin worked the ship. Uh, moving with the brightest, know the touch probably the mightest. If I fix it, I'm excited. Okay, yeah, so that's all the footage I got. And then I was supposed to be recording like while I was there, but I was just having too much fun. I was like drinking the whole time. My friends were arguing about dancing. It was like a whole, it was a whole thing. So I didn't get a chance to really just vlog and record my birthday. I should have had somebody there doing it for me, but you guys, it was so fun. I literally uh, went to Palm Springs. I got a house in Palm Springs, bomb house. It wasn't that expensive per night. Um, invited all my friends, we took a sprinter, we drove down. Okay. I need to pull up a little bit because he's scared of weight for him, I don't know. This is not. That's it. It looks better on the inside. I said you were going to What did I say? <laughs> no, this, is her, this, this is her party bus. He goes, say hi to your party with that? <laughs> that's a sprinter. That's a sprinter. That's not, that's not, is it not getting? That's a sprinter. That's a sprinter. Yeah, please record her. It's nicer in the inside. They only redid the inside. Aww. And he doesn't have trunk space? Nope. You don't have trunk space? So no, ma'am. Y'all did not tell me that this is the... Oh, too late. Okay. I am one of our first here. Were you? No. Okay. <laughs> like, is it giving cold? It's freezing. It is. Here. It's giving stripper it's cold. Giving, I'm drinking today. I and didn't vlog guys. anything at dinner last night. <laughs> an idiot. Anyways. Your camera guys are. Oh. Yeah, he got so much. Ah! I have it all. I have everyone's pictures, but it's the 1,500 uh, pictures. Ridiculous. No, no, yeah, no. This, I no, thought no, this no, was a Ben's friend, but it, it's all right. Look, we humbly in this, Mama. We humbly in here. Last but not least, to make it on the magic school bus is. Okay, guys. I feel like toast. Safe travels and at a wonderful time. And a great birthday. And goodbye. Oh, and goodbye. Hey, goodbye. Then I had a hosting in Dallas. Then I stayed in Dallas for a few days and had a good birthday. And then I had, I came back here and yeah, that was that. It was really cool, it was really peaceful. It was really cool. It was far away from the island. I wanted to do something different. And I didn't want to spend as much money as I normally do, even though I spent that much money anyway. Goodness, but it was nice. Oh, I had a dinner too. I had a dinner, I had a dinner, I had a dinner. I had a dinner. I'm sure you guys seen all the photos and all the stories and what I posted. This is a long story time, I'm sorry. I just have to catch up with you guys because I've been under a rock, literally. <laughs> Every time I like, go in and look at my stuff, like that was taken, I'm like, Ugh. They took my favorite black Birkin and my black Kelly and my yellow Birkin that was exclusive with the horseshoe on it. Like it's exclusive. They took my cross Birkin. You took my ombre Dior bag. You took my Chanel red bag. You took my Chanel suspender bag. You took my Chanel new classic. You took my Chanel pink classic. You took my Balenciaga bag with the stones all over it.
out of here moving on I need to wash my face cuz I look crazy and I look tired and my room looks a disaster and my bathroom looks a disaster and I kind of don't want to show y'all because like we said I just don't want to be showing the inside of my house that much anymore okay just put my hyaluronic acid on if you guys don't wear hyaluronic acid you need to Especially if your skin is like super dry all the time. I feel like my skin is just like oily, but it's like super dry all the time. And I like that extra hydration. And I use the Dr. Pepper Sturm one. And it's like the highest level of hyaluronic acid that there is on the market. And it's the best one. I think I've said this before, but I literally just live by it now. It makes my skin glow. And I just love it. As you can see, a mess. I'm so tired, you guys, and when I come home, I just feel like I don't have the energy to finish unpacking. Everything is unpacked for the most part. It's really just my bathroom. So they say you're not supposed to rub in your serums and moisturizers. You're supposed to like pat them in your skin gently like this. So that's what I do for the most part, but when I don't got time, it's like, I do a little bit of both. Okay, so we are on like day 15 of my birthday body challenge. I know the birthday body challenge. I just thought it was a good idea. Like everybody always tries to like get snatched right before their birthday and lose a little bit of weight. And I lost a little bit of weight. I know that's for sure. So um, I just kind of wanted to like put a program out that people can relate to, might be excited about. So it's doing really well so many girls and women that are tapped in um i've been doing it too and i'm loving my results okay i hope you guys have a wonderful day and i will see you guys later so you don't want to go to the pumpkin patch no why Who doesn't want to go to the pumpkin patch? We can get face paint, we can get ice cream, we can get on rides. She doesn't want to do anything, you guys. She doesn't like doing anything. You sure? I'm very sure. Yo, yo. My mom is like, what are you gonna do with this big picture? Do you want to take it? And honestly, I don't. It's so obnoxious. Like who would have a picture this big of their self in their house? That is so, so vain if I put that in, in the house. Mom. I mean, I am fine, but I don't, I don't know. Put it by the trash. All right, we made it to the getting ice cream. Which one do you want, Hendrix? Oh, you want sprinkles? Okay. Okay. So plain, just like. That looks so good. Can I have some? Of course. You want toys. You don't want to go get on the jumper? Or in the jumper? No? What? You said no, he doesn't want to go on the slide. I said no monkey pops. Like, kids are going on the Monkey pops is over. No, it's not. Just like how they said COVID was over last year. Is it over? So wear a mask. Hey guys. Hey guys, so we're finally moved in. We're getting some stuff in the house. I don't know why I'm seeing. Because we're happy. That's why. Happy, happy, happy. Why are you holding the camera like that? Well guys, anyway, switch the subject. Look at that. I've had it for two weeks now, and I keep feeling like stuff on it, but it's making it even more irritated. So I'm just gonna leave it alone. And I'm gonna put you guys like right here. What is that? You can clean. We're in World Market, guys. This is my favorite, favorite places to like shop. Like she loves this place. <laughs> I'm just like, okay, well, I'm gonna get some like stuff for the house. So I'm gonna get stuff. Hi, mother. Why do you keep disappearing? <laughs>
I just got this really good cup. Okay, that's fine, but you can't just disappear. How cool. I got it. I gotta have it. So we are loving World Market right now. When do you not love World Market? <laughs> we just like, walked in and they have... And look at her cup. Look at her like... Oh, look how cute this that's is. That's what I was saying. Put the olive oil. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Yeah, that's stuff like yeah, I that. would love something like this. I don't like the colors, though. I'm not going to lie. Hey. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. That's cute. Love this. I love getting stuff like this from here. Like Put your oil. olive oil in. Just make it easy to cook your side. <laughs> <laughs> don't do that. Yeah, I always find so the cute. best stuff in here. How cute is this? Come shopping with us. Come shopping with us. This one is just cute. And it's like where you're salt and pepper. No, we don't need that. That's cute. $2.79. $2.79. $2.79. Um, $2 that little, little basket. <laughs> okay. Just come shopping with us. Just come shopping with us. Oh. Ew, no. Packed with Omega. You know what I want? I want that like blending thing that like they have on TikTok where like they make their coffee like, like whipping, you, you know? You know, you all know what I you know. Mom, hot cocoa bombs. I want two and I'm gonna get it. I got kind of a lot. So like I got this for my bathroom for it. So it smelled good when I walked back from school. And then I got the hot cocoa that I showed you guys. Let me see that. What is my butter? I got a squishy. No, no. Oh, it's yours. So I'm gonna ruin another one. I knew you were gonna do that. And then I got this little plant for like the side of my bed. I'm in love with plants, guys. I've been holding it this entire time. Can you please hold it? I have to do laundry because I have to school tomorrow. Who wants to go to school? Who wants to learn? You. Who wants to get educated? You. Imagine my brother being knocked out. Is he asleep? Yes. That fast? just got in the car. <laughs> y'all, did I tell you what happened when this, my substitute teacher snatched the AirPod on my ear? Y'all, I, I said something. She Wait, did what? Mom, you knew, you know you know this. Why are you asking like you don't know this? <laughs> I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, um, so basically I have like a fake AirPod. Like it's Those light up. It's light up. So like it's fake. You could tell it's fake. She's like, what is that in your ear? I'm like, it's a fake ear. She snatched it. I said, don't touch me. So first thing I said, don't touch me. She was like, I didn't touch you. I touched the airport. I said, I don't care. Don't touch me. She was like, oh, well, I didn't know. And I was like, but still, you shouldn't. Just please don't touch me. And she was like, she was like, mm -mm, whatever. She didn't apologize? No. Because teachers are just getting about, oh, beside their cell. I don't like it. Anyhow. We'll catch y'all later. I'm exhausted. I don't want them to see the background like at all. Y'all cannot see anything. <laughs> anything. <laughs> Y'all not see nothing. <laughs> nothing right now. Nothing. Y'all only see my face in the sun. That's it. That's it. That is it. Because people are scandalous out here. You feel me? And that's what I'm, th I'm thinking. Is it like, is somebody just hawking my Instagram? I mean, hawking my uh, YouTube? Because I'm, I'm, I'm like, you would really only see more detail, I guess, inside my home or like outside my home. Security, all of that. Right. So, Try me. <laughs> <laughs> That's basically what it's giving. Try me. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, but by the grace of God, we are doing great. Okay, life is great. We're not stressed about that no more. We feel safe, and that's all that matters. Basically, look who chooses to just knock out peacefully after you literally made my life. A little more difficult today. Being a difficult little person. Hendrix. 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 Hey yo. Good. Let's go. Hendrix. So leave him alone. 
All right, come on, let's go. Let's go, bye-bye.